Hey there, Rock Hunter. They taught you to chase gold, stocks, and real estate. But no one ever told you that a simple rock lying on the ground could be worth more than all of those combined. That's right. The wealth you've been searching for might literally be right under your feet. And chances are, you've walked past it without a second glance. Listen to this. Every single day, regular people stumble upon meteorites in the most unexpected places. Backyards, rooftops, fields, even right in the middle of the city. And here's the crazy part. Most of them throw these rocks away thinking they're just junk. The truth is, these space rocks can be worth thousands, even millions of dollars. And if you know what to look for, you could find one too. You don't need to be a scientist. You don't need to spend a dime. All it takes is knowing the signs that most people miss. In this video, you'll learn exactly how to identify a real meteorite using simple, practical, and foolproof techniques. And if you're thinking, that's way too rare to happen to me, hold on. The universe drops clues every day. You just need to start noticing them. Ready to start seeing the ground in a whole new way? While so many people spend their entire lives looking up at the sky, searching for answers, signs, or miracles, few ever stop to realize the real sign might be right beneath their feet. On the ground. Yes, that silent, overlooked territory we walk over every day without a second thought, rushed and unaware. But it's exactly there where the oldest secrets are hidden. Ancient civilizations, Egyptians, Aztecs, Native Americans, believed meteorites were divine gifts, messages from the gods, or even fragments of fallen stars. They didn't just treasure these stones as sacred symbols. They used them in rituals for power, guidance, and spiritual connection. And now, we walk past a weird-looking rock and think, me, just another rock. But what if it's not? What if it's a cosmic gift, just waiting to be discovered? Here's a true story. Back in the 19th century, an Argentinian farmer tripped over a rock he thought was totally ordinary. Turned out to be a meteorite weighing over 30 tons. Today, it's sitting in a museum. And you? Are you still gonna keep ignoring the clues the universe is leaving for you? If you've ever felt that chill, like something big is closer than you think, this is your moment. Hit that subscribe button and drop a like, because what's coming next is gonna change the way you see everything, even the ground you walk on. Here's the truth. Most people have no idea what a meteorite really is. They think it's something impossibly rare, like a relic you'd only find behind glass in a museum or in the hands of lab coat scientists. But that's not how it works. A meteorite is a chunk of rock or metal that's been drifting through space for millions of years. And when it finally crashes into Earth's atmosphere, if it survives the fiery descent, it quietly lands somewhere. Right here among us, meteorites can come from asteroids, the moon, even Mars. Yes, Mars. Scientists have found Martian meteorites in the Sahara Desert, on the icy plains of Antarctica, and, believe it or not, even on rooftops in Germany and the US. These space fragments carry one-of-a-kind information about the universe. They're like cosmic time capsules, filled with metals and materials that are nearly impossible to find on Earth. In other words, they're billion-year-old safes, just waiting for someone curious enough to crack them open. Now here's the part. That will blow your mind. Meteorites might look like ordinary rocks, but they have telltale features that reveal their secret, if you know how to look. First clue? Wait. Meteorites are usually much heavier than a regular rock of the same size because they often contain high concentrations of iron and nickel. 
Another big sign is the fusion crust, a dark, sometimes glassy layer that forms when the rock burns up entering the atmosphere. Sometimes this crust has smooth textures or tiny thumbprint-like dents called regmaglypts. Testing with a magnet is a great starting point. Most meteorites are magnetic. But remember, not every chunk of metal is from space, so careful observation is key. There are visual guides, apps, and even online communities where you can compare your find to real meteorite samples. The secret is combining curiosity with method, and science gives you both. Still not convinced these things are worth anything? Let me give you a reality check that'll change how you see the ground forever. In 2021, a woman in Colombia found a meteorite in her backyard. After testing, it was valued at over $200,000. In another case, an Australian farmer used a weird heavy rock as a doorstop for years until an expert identified it as an extremely rare iron meteorite worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. So what separated them from everyone else? Attention and action. Knowing what to look for is the first step. And that's exactly where you are right now, on the edge of knowledge that could turn what looks like trash into treasure. The universe is full of clues and meteorites are some of the most fascinating ones. But the real question is, what will you do with this information? Walk past it like everyone else, or finally start seeing the ground as a map to hidden treasures from the stars. Knowing there's a rock out there that could be worth more than a car, that's fascinating. But what really separates the curious from a true discoverer is knowing what to do when you actually find one. And guess what? You don't need a lab or astronaut gear. Just some focus and a few simple tools. Start with a magnet. If the rock is strongly attracted, that's a solid first clue. Next, check the weight. Grab another rock of the same size and compare. A meteorite will usually feel way too heavy for how small it looks. The fusion crust is another giveaway, a dark, scorched outer layer that almost looks like burned glass. Use a magnifying glass to check for tiny metallic specks or thin interior lines. And here's a pro tip. If you're unsure, snap a photo and drop it in the comments below. Who knows? You might already have one sitting at home and not even realize it. Let us know what you found. Was it heavy? Magnetic? Strange? I'll be checking the comments myself and giving feedback. Now, where should you look? This question is worth its weight in gold, or better yet, in space-grade nickel. Dry, flat areas like open fields, roadsides, and vacant lots are ideal. But the best time to search is right after a storm, when the ground has shifted and hidden objects rise to the surface. Imagine going for a post-rain walk and coming home with a piece of the universe in your pocket. It's happened before. It could happen to you. Here's another master level tip. Check your home's gutters. Seriously. They collect invisible cosmic dust straight from space. With a strong magnet and a bit of patience, you might find micrometeorites, tiny but valuable to science. And if you live in an apartment, no problem. Head to a local park, hiking trail, or unpaved lot. The key is training your eyes to spot the unusual in the everyday. Don't underestimate simple tools. A neodymium magnet, a basic magnifier, a small sample bag, and a phone with a meteorite ID app already put you ahead of 90% of people. Combine that with curiosity and patience, and you become a legit space relic hunter. Even better, there are apps like Meteorite ID and active forums where you can post pics and get expert help. And hey, if you've got that odd little rock sitting on your shelf or something you grabbed years ago from your grandpa's farm, drop a comment and tell us about it. You might be sitting on a treasure and just don't know it yet.
This community is here for that, to share finds, ask questions, and maybe even celebrate your very first confirmed meteorite discovery. Because sometimes, your journey with the cosmos starts right here, in the comments. And your next step? It might take you further than you ever imagined. Just when we think we've figured out everything about these space rocks, the universe takes it a step further and reveals new layers of mystery. And this is where things get even more fascinating. Beyond meteorites, there are other phenomena, like tectites. These are glassy fragments formed when a meteorite slams into the Earth, melting the surrounding ground and launching molten droplets into the air, which cool and harden mid-flight. These little glass tears are black, shiny, aerodynamic, and they carry the unmistakable signature of a cosmic explosion. They've been found in Vietnam, the Philippines, and even the United States. Then come the micrometeorites, tiny space particles so small they look like grains of sand. But make no mistake, they're outer space fragments, and Earth receives about 100 tons of this stardust every single day. Most of it settles on rooftops and gutters. That means while you're cleaning your house, you might literally be sweeping away pieces of the universe. Some people are now using magnetic sieves to collect this cosmic dust from city centers. Sounds like sci-fi? It's not. It's real science. Tangible, accessible, and closer than you think. And there's more. People have stumbled upon these space relics in the most unexpected places. One jaw-dropping case happened in 2016. An Indonesian man found a heavy rock on his roof after seeing a flash in the sky. Turned out to be a rare carbonaceous meteorite worth over a million rays. Can you imagine? Sitting on your couch, hearing a loud boom outside, and the next day, you're holding a piece of the solar system in your hand. Even in major cities, like Sao Paulo, New York, and Berlin, micrometeorites have been found mixed in with regular street dust. So what makes the difference between those who miss out and those who make discoveries? One simple choice. Paying attention. Because the universe doesn't scream. It whispers through the details. And when you start truly observing, you realize that nature is a living map of impacts, signs, and cosmic memories. That strange little speck stuck to your shoe might not just be dirt. It could be a fragment of a star waiting to be noticed. Before we dive deeper, hit that like button right now, because I've got something special coming up next. But what if the real transformation isn't about finding a million dollar rock? What if it's about learning to see the extraordinary within the ordinary? The deeper lesson in all of this is that life's greatest opportunities don't always come wrapped in gold. Sometimes they're disguised as something simple, a casual conversation, an idea that pops into your head while showering, a strange rock lying on the ground. How many times have you brushed past something like that and ignored it? Maybe that one moment where you thought, there's something here, but chose to move on, was actually life placing a turning point in your path. Meteorites are just the cosmic reflection of this truth. Tough on the outside, but filled with stories and value on the inside. Just like so many people we cross paths with. The real secret? It's about cultivating a way of seeing, an attentive, sensitive, almost poetic gaze. Because when you start noticing what others overlook, you begin attracting things others can't even imagine. And the most beautiful part, it all begins with one simple act, looking down and seeing beyond. If something inside you has stirred up by now, it's because you're not just curious, you're a seeker. And this channel is made for people like you, the ones who aren't satisfied with the surface, 
who want more than just what's obvious. Here, yes, we watch the ground, but our eyes are always searching for something greater. So tell me in the comments, are you someone who watches the ground? Type it out. I watch the ground, so I'll know you're part of this group, the ones who see meaning where others just see routine. And to support you on this path, I've dropped a special ebook in the description, packed with everything you need to start identifying possible meteorites, checklists, DIY tests, and a complete practical guide you can you starting today, don't wait, grab it now. Because the universe doesn't wait. And if you've made it this far, it's because something called you. So hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and join me on this journey. Because here, every video is a map for those who are searching for meaning, value, and hidden discoveries hiding in plain sight. Remember that question from the beginning? The one about the rock on the ground that everyone ignores? Well, now you might realize it was never really about the rock. It was always about the way you see. A way of seeing that starts small. But once awakened, never goes back to normal. Because when you learn to find value where no one else is looking, the entire world begins to change. And this, this is just the beginning. If you thought it was mind-blowing that a simple rock could hide a fragment of the cosmos, wait until you hear this. There's a fungus, yes a fungus, that only grows in soils where diamonds are buried. That's right. A living organism that literally points to hidden underground treasures worth millions. And the craziest part? It could be growing somewhere near you right now, and no one's even noticing. In the video that's showing up right now on your screen, you'll learn how to spot this invisible signal from nature and how it could lead you straight to high-value diamond deposits. Because sometimes, those who learn to watch the ground closely also learn to hear what even fungi are trying to say. See you soon, fellow gem hunter.